I've been seeing a lot of questions regarding controller support for Diablo Immortal. So today I figured I'd tackle the topic, talk about my thoughts and what I think is coming. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and welcome back to the Echo Gaming Diablo channel where today we're talking about controller support, Bluetooth controller sp support specifically. People talking about Android devices. Are they gonna be able to put their controller onto their device so they can play Diablo Immortal on their iPad or phone, but using a controller? Really good question. A lot of people don't like controls of mobile games or some people at least don't like it. So will Blizzard be allowing it? And I figure I'll talk about this topic right now before I get into it though, guys, make sure you sub the channel and ring the bell for regular Diablo Immortal videos. This is the hot spot for Diablo Immortal content. I want to remind you that every other Sunday, the Immortal Podcast is live right here on this channel where myself and Nemo from the Scrappy Academy channel get together and talk to community people for Diablo. Next Sunday, we're going to be talking to Nine, the lore expert of Diablo. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I believe it's December 6th is the date, I think, 11 a.m. Eastern. But as we're talking about this topic, we're going to sit back and watch some barbarian gameplay and enjoy the thought of playing Diablo Immortal because we all know that it's not out yet. The uh, the beta's gotta be coming very soon. Hope to have it in my hand soon, but let's talk about controller support. All right, so I think the best way to talk about this is first to say, why would a game company not allow controller support? And a lot of companies don't want you using blue stacks or mirroring devices or controllers because of a competitive advantage. A lot of games that are in esports and things like that where money is on the line and people are competing, some of them making a living from the competition, something like PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile. You're not supposed to use, or you're not allowed to in these events, use any external apps. You can't play on your computer. You can't play with a controller because it will give a competitive advantage, at least to many people. Or you could always cheat being able to do programming and stuff with the Bluestacks version. But we're talking about controller support now, not blue stacks today, specifically in this video. So Diablo is not going to be in esports. At least as far as I know, there is no remodeling of the structure of the game to make it an esport. It's a dungeon crawler. We're gonna be, you're gonna be able to get together with your friends, go through dungeons, get to the end game. And if you don't know what the end game is, my buddy Scrappy Academy put a video out on that just a few days ago. I suggest you go check it out. Scrappy Academy YouTube channel talking about the end game of Diablo Immortal. Um, so in my opinion, if a player were to have controller support, it wouldn't negatively impact the experience for other people playing the game. In my opinion, playing on a controller doesn't give you an advantage in a dungeon crawler game like Diablo Immortal. Now, playing on a PC, a mouse and keyboard, Yes, that can give you an advantage, more customization of controls, more ability to do more things at once with controls because you can use all of your fingers in the keyboard, you have your mouse for precise movement. So yes, there could be an advantage with controller and mouse controls. Same thing with playing a shooter or anything like that. Console players don't have as much control in a shooting game as PC players just because of the, the controls and how they actually work. But Diablo Mortal is not going to be in a competitive realm like that. Now, yes, are people gonna get competitive? Are people gonna wanna raise up to the top of those leaderboards and be the best in the seasons and do all that? Of course they are. But in winning those things, it doesn't bring you rewards that actually are cash money rewards. That's where the issues come in if we're talking about getting a competitive advantage. If someone that plays PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty Mobile is allowed to use a controller, they will be able to have more control, have more advantage over someone that's playing on the screen or pad. Even worse than that, someone would have more an advantage if they could hook up a keyboard and mouse to that platform, to the, to the phone or to the iPad and be able to have that precise movement. It would give an advantage, they would have a better chance of winning and they would be, have a better chance of taking in that money, which is unfair it would be considered cheating. But with Diablo Immortal, that competitive element, that level of competitive element, I don't believe is going to be inside of the game. Now that brings up a whole nother topic is, how could Blizzard make Diablo Immortal into a competitive esport? And yes, it's, it could be competitive in ways, but it doesn't have the formula for esports. But how could they make it get there? And could they make it get there? So 
when I spoke to Wyatt, now we're talking about a year ago, I did not hear him say anything about not wanting controller support or not wanting blue sp stacks use. Now, I also didn't hear him say, yes, we are opening it up to control support. That was not said. But when the topic was discussed, it wasn't, you know, he wasn't like, no, we don't want people to use controllers. So in my opinion, I think that controller support, Bluetooth control support, Android devices, iOS devices, etc., will be supported with Diablo Immortal. I think it will be. Could I be wrong? Of course I can. I'm not on the development team. I don't make the decisions for Diablo Immortal. I'm just a guy who's excited about the game, knows a little bit of information about it, and is sharing everything that I know with you guys. Now, yes, I may know a little bit more than just a little bit of information, but, you know, I'm, I'm well-versed in the game, and it's because I am looking at things literally every single day regarding Diablo Immortal because I just want to play. When I could play, I could stop scouring the internets for topics to discuss with you guys, and I could start focusing on the game, diving in five, eight hours a day into the gameplay, streaming it, of course, and then bringing you videos on how you could have the best gaming experience inside of Diablo Immortal. Now, what do you guys think? We got, we've come to the point in the video where I ask you your thoughts. Do you guys think that Diablo Immortal is going to allow controller support do you do you want it to yes no why why not i'm going to be looking back i want to see what you guys have to say and while we're talking about that because this is talking about community discussion and, and being together as a community talking as a community i and and nemo because scrappy academy nemo he is the guy that builds my my discord server with me we have revamped the Discord server. It is all brand new, and it is probably one of the sexiest Discord servers you will ever be a part of. I want you to come on down right now, and here's my invitation to you. This is only an invitation to you, my Diablo Immortal viewers. When you come to my Discord server, in the Diablo Immortal section or under the chat section, say, what's up, Echo? I made it, and tag me. Yes, I said you could tag me. Now, that is a special thing, guys, because I never ask people to tag me. I get tagged all day long on Discord, but I want to know when my Diablo Immortal community actually comes down and becomes part of that community. I will be there and excited to greet you and to show you around the Diablo Immortal section of the server, which is going to share builds, class builds, armor sets. It's going to be sharing the content that comes out, letting you know when the podcast comes out and just bringing together a whole community that is really in love with and looking forward to Diablo Immortal. We always have, we already have Scrappy in there. We already have Nine in there. We already have a bunch of other people from this community in there, but come on through and tag me. I'll be looking and listening. My phone will be blowing up in my pocket and I want to hear if you guys come through. But back to control support. At the end of the day, yes, I do think it will have controller support. I think it will enhance the game, especially because people are skeptical about it being on mobile already. Allowing them to have a few options with controls will ease the blow a little bit for people that are console gamers, maybe for people that are PC gamers as well. I don't really know. But I'd like to see it there. I won't personally use the option because I will be playing on the, the device itself. But I hope that it's there for people that would like to have that and would feel more comfortable with it. Because at the end of the day, I want as many playing people playing Diablo Immortal as humanly possible. The more people, the more stable the game becomes, the more profit they make, the longer it will be supported. So guys, we are coming to that point in the video where I thank you for coming through and spending some time with me here today. Let me know if you want that control support or not. Maybe you're an OG mobile gamer and all you care about is that screen and you will touch that screen and dominate within. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out some of these other ones before you go. Be good.